Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Byrne. It's time for the Thursday afternoon, just before Friday, Monday morning podcast. And I'm just checking in on you and your cubicle. Do you like that it's in the corner and you get some sun? I like it. It makes me feel like I'm outside. Do you know what I mean? Do you remember when you had recess? And you just ran, and you just had the, the, the wind was in your hair. That's what it feels like, except I'm inside. And my dreams have died. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Uh, my voice is fucked up, and uh, it's Wednesday night. I just got out of the writer's room. Episode 8, motherfuckers, doing the table read. Fucking moths. Where the fuck do these fucking things come from? Jesus fucking Christ. These fucking moths. Fucking house. Do you know the fuck another day? My goddamn. Pff, I get a fucking decent gate for the driveway for once. You know, you got to get the electrical one. You know what's great about the electrical one is eventually it fucking breaks and you can't get your car out of there and you got to call a taxi when you're paying insurance on two fucking cars. Oh, oh, they're right there. You just can't get to them. Isn't technology wonderful? It makes your life so much more simple. Um. You know, you don't have to get out of a car anymore to open a gate. You don't burn those calories, and then those calories just sit right on your fucking heart, right? And then one day, one day the gate doesn't open, and you have a fucking aneurysm because you're so upset because it was supposed to make your life easier, and it doesn't. I actually have a fucking theory. Uh, I don't have a theory. I have a fucking idea that just popped into my head. We should all die at like 30 of natural fucking causes, you know? We should just go back to living off the fucking land. Once just the whole plague just hits everybody, we should just, you know, go back to being fucking cave people and living like, you know, just living like 30 fucking years. Ah, you can't go that far back. What would be a good place to go back to? You know what I mean? Well, anybody in this era would suck because then there'd be a bunch of shit. Be like, what? There's no iPads or polio vaccines, man. What the fuck? This sucks, right? You know? I don't know. It's not a theory. It was just a fucking idea. I mean, this is how Trump gives a speech, isn't it? Is he going down? Is that what's happening to this fucking guy? Just took everybody until this fucking moment. Now, I, I, for the life of me, I do not understand how this is. This is my fucking Republican choice. I got this fucking dope or this, this fucking square-headed goddamn criminal. What does Hillary Clinton have? Like, what, 52 felonies pending? <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw her on the first 48 the other night. Ugh. And how they're just going to just blow past all of this, and then you're going to have to listen to all this fucking horse shit about, you know, how great it is for fucking women. Well, it's only fair. After all the dishonest guys that have gotten in office, why don't we get the most crooked fucking broad we can find? You know, don't pick the honest one. Um, oh, Jesus. I'm in a grumpy fucking mood. Um. There's so much shit that I want to say, but I can't say it. I just can't fucking say it because uh, it would be a waste to say it right here. But I am buying my time. Biting? Or is it buying? Is it Joe Biden? How the fuck do you... I don't know what, how the express. That's one of those expressions. I've, I, every time I hear somebody say it in a bar, it's, it's like, did they say buying or I'm biding my time? Or is it just yeah, another thing that one of my relatives mispronounced and then I just started saying it that way? Like, my fucking... One of my relatives could not say orange. He used to say orange. You want an orange? So, you know, I fucking go to school. What color is that? I'm like, orange. And people look at me like, what did you say? Orange. And they're going, it's, it's orange. So, like, oh, all right. You know, I didn't know. People around where I live say orange. Um, the fuck was I talking about? Biding my time? Is, is that a word? Is that something? Biding my time. Well, that's a Pink Floyd song. Biding time. Uh, biding my time. Can you believe there's something on Wikipedia about that? Well, there's people like you in the world, Bill, so there needs to be. Biding my time was an unreleased recording. Is it an, ex is it an, an expression? This, you, what you guys are hearing right now is how I use the fucking com uh, the computer. I just ask it. I talk to it like it can hear me. Well, it can hear me because he fucking, I'll say shit to my wife and all of a sudden, you know. I'll be like, you know, the fuck is your problem? Well, you know, you, you treat me like a douchebag, right? And then all of a sudden I go to my computer and on the side there's all these advertising for douchebags. And I never looked it up. Binding my time instead of biding my time. The bide in the binding one's time is a verb that according to the American Heritage 
dictionary means to await or wait for. Oh, God, people who are into language to that level. According to the American Heritage Dictionary, somebody fucking sat down and looked that up. It's Wikipedia. Why wouldn't you just make it up? This podcast, by the way, is brought to you by Coors Light. It's cold lagered, cold filtered, and cold packaged. And you know what? When I'm pitching shit jokes all day long in a fucking writer's room, I like to come home, do a podcast, and drink one can of fucking Coors Light. You know why? Because it's fucking delicious. It's perfect. I don't want to get hammered. It sort of tastes like water, but I have a nice happy feeling afterwards. Um, this is me not drinking, is every two days I have one beer. One, you know, nobody in England, whatever, or, or Europe in general would consider this a fucking beer.